Good morning guys! I am going to do some quick sketching. As you can see, I am almost done my sketchbook. Yay! And then I will do a sketchbook flip through. This one doesn't have anything that's too terrible in it. Um, having problems this morning, getting thoughts out and getting myself organized and I just want to sketch. So on the weekend I did a lot of um, well research and like the way that other people draw and like how they start off sketching and sometimes it's good to watch like master sketch so if you can you can go on Instagram and you can find people like Loish and um, Daniel Landerman. The man is just beautiful with his line work. He has like such a quality to his line and the way that he describes form. Um, I actually have an article in my one of my Imagine Effects magazines. Imagine Effects is a really cool magazine. It's uh, published out of Europe and it's basically a concept art magazine and it gives you all kinds of like artists to look at and tutorials and different just like a wide variety of like information. Um, each one's themed but this is the guy <laughs> Daniel Landerman and I found this article um, in this book and he like goes over like line making and what makes a good sketch and just a lot of information um, and it's just it's this article I'm gonna read it again because it was just fantastic but he just draws and he draws daily and he fills sketchbooks and he has a lot of the similar views I have on sketching so I just really really enjoyed his um, article and like just the way that he processes sketches is very similar to my own so that was really cool but just like drawing and getting yourself drawing and figuring out like just making marks on a page uh, you will only get better by doing and um, there's that <laughs> there's the weird age-old saying oh quality over quantity or is it quantity over quality well to get quality you have to do quantity so get all of those bad sketches out get all of your the way that you figure out how to draw is by drawing so get all of the the crappy drawings out so that when you go to make those good drawings and you go to make like that finished piece you've done all of the preliminary work you've done all the bad drawing so you can make the really pretty sketch with the beautiful line work and play around with how you hold your pencil too like that is one of the like best ways to like change up the way you make marks and how you describe forms is hold your pencil like it's on your on its side and then you can get a variety of different line widths with it and it just brings the sketch to life. Remember darker areas or areas that are in shadow are usually going to be um, a bit darker and there'll be thicker lines or if there's a fold like the shadow on the other side of the fold so you got to know where your light source is coming from. But just even if you don't really care about that, just trying to draw in a different way just to make marks on a page is liberating. And you'll find that even when you go in to tighten up areas and switching the way that you hold your pencil and how you use your arm to draw and how you use your hand to draw and the different curves you can get when you use your arm, like you can get very lovely stable curves and flowing lines by using your whole arm to draw and when you're in art school they'll say don't use your wrist use your arm use your shoulder pull the lines from your shoulder and you will actually find that you'll get more um, quality uh, to your line work than you would if you're just doing like like these lines you can you have to realize like what muscles you're using in your hand to get certain lines like 
When I'm doing straight lines, I want to pull from my shoulder or lock my wrist and move from my elbow. Because I know I'm going to be more stable, whereas with my wrist, it's like a very short stroke and then my elbow is a very long stroke and my shoulder is an even longer stroke. So understanding how you make your marks um, and like what muscles and what area of the arm creates which marks is actually really good. I suggest getting like a big piece of paper, like even if you go to the dollar store and you get like just one of those really big manila cheap sketch pads um, or the craft store or whatever, like they're two bucks and you get this great big, like I mean the things like 13 by 17 or 19 inches and you get that and you just practice making marks with a really soft dark pencil you'd be surprised the quality the line quality you'll get out of um, your work after practicing like that so anyways I am very rambly this morning talking about different ways to sketch anyway But what he also said is when you're inking, don't just trace your sketch lines. When you're inking, like really, find a pen. Like don't try and like replicate each of your pencil lines. Try to make each line new. So you're better off to erase a bunch, like a really lighten your sketch, so that when you go back in and you're drawing, you're not really trying to trace the lines you've already made. This will also make you a lot more confident in your inking process. Oh, for those of you guys who follow my Instagram, I did uh, post that I have a Vero account. Um, I am really, really getting annoyed with Vero. I've only been on it for a couple of days, and every time I've gone to search out people that I follow on Instagram, it hasn't allowed me to search them. And it really is hard to find your, like, good artists and stuff on there. I don't know if it's because these people haven't posted anything or what it is but I am just getting super super annoyed with the whole process of trying to post things on Vero. Um, half the time it won't even let me post content and it, it is just super difficult to actually work. They need to really work the bugs out of that app. It is really really annoying. Um, so I am still, I will constantly be posting on Instagram. I am posting, um, I try to post a few times a week on my uh, Patreon account as well. I will be doing more of my finished illustrations on Patreon. If you are interested in my Patreon, it is um, M-I-A New Archer, uh, patreon.com backslash M-I-A New Archer. Uh, just look up that. 
you will see watercolor paintings and a guy with a um, a dragon on him for my icon. Uh, if you were following MI New Archer 85, I got locked out of that account because it was through my Facebook and my Facebook email that I started the Facebook with doesn't exist anymore, so it, I can't confirm the account, so it kind of locked me out again. Um, so just yeah, at MI, all right, not at, but MIA New Archer, patreon.com backslash MIA New Archer. Um, and yeah, a dollar a month and you can see different illustrations and stuff like that that I do or uh, secret drawings that I only post to people I know. <laughs> so um, there are different tiers. There's the $1 tier, the $5 tier, and the $10 tier. I am going to switch my tiers up. It's like however much people want to um, contribute and the funds towards that can go to really cool things like my sketch boxes or um, a new art supplies that you'd like me to try or different demos and I will be starting to do um, Patreon content uh, like prizes like different videos for my patrons that um, I probably won't be posting here like longer painting tutorial videos or live streams probably more live streams than anything but um, yeah let me know what you guys think if you'd be interested in doing that I will leave a link in the description below for my patreon and yeah have a wonderful day there's a new drawing Ta -da! <laughs> um, and I was using the Faber-Castell um, pit pen I believe it is sepia Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will chat at you later. Bye.